alien-like photo shows snake eel dangling out of heron's stomach in mid-air, it's possible the heron survived. The eel likely not. A snake eel fighting for its life pulled an alien move by bursting out of the stomach of a heron that had just swallowed it whole, according to photos snapped by an amateur photographer in Delaware. The photos show the snake eel, its head dangling in mid-air as the heron looking surprisingly unbothered flies onward. The unusual event attracted a lot of attention among the local predators, said Sam Davis, an engineer from Maryland who took the photos on the Delaware shore. Several juvenile eagles and a fox were following the heron, possibly hoping to scavenge a meal in case the heron or the snake eel didn't make it, he said. When Davis first spotted the bizarre flight, he thought that a snake or eel had bitten the heron's neck. Davis was about 75 yards to 100 yards, 68 to 91 meters, away from the animals, but he had a telephoto lens for long-range photography, and so he shot photos as he watched the heron fly about and even land in the water with the eel still attached to it. The heron didn't seem to act much differently. Davis told Live Science it was in the water and flying around. Meanwhile, the eel was arching its body, so I guess it was still alive at some point, he said. It wasn't until Davis returned home and edited the photos that he realized that the snake eel wasn't biting the heron. After enlarging the photos, I could see the eel, you could see its eyes. He said it was actually coming out the other end head first. The photos show a pretty amazing sight, said John Poganowski, an ichthyologist with the Australian National Fish Collection at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO, who wasn't involved with the heron and snake eels encounter. I would think this is either very rare or very rarely seen in a bird species at least as far as I am aware. Earlier this year, Poganowski and his colleagues published a study in the journal Memoirs of the Queensland Museum on Snake Eels, a fish from the family of Ichthydale, detailing how snake eels can burrow out of the guts of fish that prey on them. But usually they don't get very far, he told Live Science in an email once swallowed. Snake eels can use their hard heads or tails to bust out of the digestive tract, but usually end up in the predator's body cavity, muscle tissues or swim bladder. Once trapped, snake eels often become mummified or encysted, closed up in a cyst and die rather than escape, he said. In one instance, a co-author of the paper once discovered a live snake eel inside a fish he caught when he cleaned the fish to eat it. Poganowski said Davis never learned what happened to the heron and snake eel photographed in Delaware in 2011. He uploaded the photos to a wildlife site only a few months ago. When he left the shore, the heron was still playing around with the snake eel hanging below it. According to Poganowski, the heron possibly survived. It didn't look too inconvenienced but would depend on how well the wound healed and if it was able to avoid an infection. As for the snake eel, it would only have survived if it was dropped over or very close to water with a salinity it could normally tolerate, he said.